Welcome to the Air Chemistry YouTube channel. Karnataka set 2013 paper 2 chemical science part 2. Question number 11. In the first transition series, the paramagnetism due to unpaired electron spin being approximately equal to. For on the basis of Cu plus ion, cuprous ion, what will be the magnetic moment? They are asking. You take in case of Cu 2 plus ion, it is 3d9 which contains one unpaired electron. It has one unpaired electron. Whereas in Cu plus ion, in Cu plus it is 3d10, it contains all the electrons were paired. On splitting, on splitting, you have all the electrons were All the electrons were paired and there was no unpaired electron n equal to 0 hence mu equal to 0. Therefore Cu plus ion has 3d10 configuration where all electrons were paired hence the value is 0. It has paramagnetism of 0 magneton hence option D is correct. Question number 12. They have given the complex. You have to find the nomenclature of this complex. If you split this complex, if you split this complex, what you will get is 4 Fe 3 plus plus. Fe Cn6 4 minus. So, is an 3 plus ion, is a ferric ion, ferric ion Fe3 plus, and here the oxidation number uh, of ion, let it be x, and the cyanide uh, it is minus 1, so minus 1 into 6 equal to minus 4 is x minus 6 equal to minus 4 x equal to plus 2 that is this is Fe 2 plus this is ferrous hence now you uh, name the complex first you name the uh, cation first you name the cation that is ion 3 that is it is a ferric ion hence it is ion 3 hexacyano and then you have to uh, name this in this uh, coordinate complex first you have to name the ligand that is hexacyano hexacyano ferrate the charge is 2 plus hence ferrate 2 hence option d is correct the formula of the complex tris ethylene diamine cobalt 3 sulfate yes you have to find the formula four options are given in uh, this four option the sulphate in option A the sulphate was present inside the coordinate uh, sphere hence option A was ruled out. Among B, C and D you see in uh, En that is ethylene diamine where the charge of this ligand is 0 and a cobalt they are given a cobalt 3 that is cobalt charge of the cobalt is 3 plus they have given uh, for sulfate so4 2 minus okay now if you take this option b if you split this this is co en3 minus so4 minus 
that is uh, plus this minus so this option is ruled out plus minus uh, the, it is not cobalt uh, plus this was ruled out and uh, you take this complex uh, C here you see uh, cobalt CO EN3 2 plus SO4 2 minus and here also the charge was uh, not clear uh, here you are, not, you are getting CO2 plus instead of CO3 plus in option D option D is the correct answer where cobalt you will get uh, charge 2 plus sorry cobalt you get the charge 3 plus and the sulfate you will get charge 2 minus and 2 it is a di and tris this is tris ethylene diamine cobalt 3 sulfate option d is correct which of the following will not undergo sn1 reaction and sn2 reaction first you take option d in option D, it is a uh, tertiary carbocation. If you split, you will get a tertiary carbocation. It is a tertiary carbocation which undergoes SN1 reaction but not SN2 reaction. Option D undergoes SN1 but not SN2. You take option B. You take option B it gives CH3 plus which is a uh, primary is a primary cation which undergoes SN2 reaction but not SN1 reaction B undergoes SN2 but not SN1 if you take option C it is a secondary carbocation it gives a, a secondary carbocation which undergoes both SN1 as well as an SN2 both the reactions were occur in option A where this bromine is at a bridged carbon atom the option A will un never undergo SN1 or SN2 hence option A is correct question number 15 the given compound is the IUPAC name here the option B and D both were correct. One for dioxane, one for dioxacyclohexane. And the option A and T uh, C were not correct. It's a preferred configuration is one for dioxane. And the systematic IUPAC name is one for dioxacyclohexane. The other names were given one for dioxane, para dioxane, six crown two diethylene dioxide diethylene ether hence option a b and d are correct question number 16 the iupac name of the following compound it's a bridged bridged compound here first you count the number of the carbon atom 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 there are totally 9 carbon atom hence the octane no it's wrong octane ruled out it's a heptane no it is also ruled out hence there are 9 carbon atom due to presence of 9 carbon atom the compound is non-ane it has 9 carbon atom it is non-ane uh, this compound can be uh, written as so it can also be given as like this 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 hence it is a bicyclo bicyclo 1 2 3 that is 3 1 2 2 1 2 2 hence bicyclo 3 2 2 non n option d is correct and come to question number 17 the compound I have been given it contains the number of uh, how many stereoisomers are possible 
This compound is an unsymmetrical compound which has two stereogenic center. It has two stereogenic center. Hence, 2 power 2. 2 power 2 is 4. So, it has 4 stereoisomers where possible. Option B is correct. Next, we come to question number 18. We have to assign RS configuration for the 9th carbon atom and 10th carbon atom. We have to assign. First, let us take 9th carbon atom. Let us take the 9th carbon atom here. Sorry. We take the 9th carbon atom. The hydrogen, in the 9th carbon atom, the hydrogen is uh, at the lower position. Is there hydrogen and it is uh, given as number 4. And uh, on the left hand side, it was given as number 1. It is number 1. And uh, this one is uh, number 2. And this is number 3. Here you see 1, 2, 3. Hence, it is 9R. Common is 9R. When come to this 10th uh, carbon atom, 10th carbon atom, you take this one, this 10th carbon. And come to 10th carbon. The hydrogen is at the top this is uh, number 4 and this is number 1 and uh, here it is number 2 this is number 3 now you make an interchange even number of interchange first you change this one you will get 2 and 4 you keep 1 and 3 as it is again second interchange this is a first interchange and second interchange you keep uh, 2 and 4 as it is and you just interchange this one 1 and 3 hence it is this is carbon 10 and it is yes this is 10 yes so the combo is shows 9 r 10 yes and answer a is correct question number 19 the most destabilizing most destabilizing in interaction in the boat conformation of cyclohexane is generally in cyclohexane, 1,3 dioxyl is uh, less stable, we know that. But instead of 1,3 uh, dioxyl position, the bowsprit flagpole, which destabilizes more, the steric interaction due to uh, steric interaction of hydrogen atom inside the bow and the stern, known as flagpole interaction, destabilizes the boat conformation. The flagpole interaction generally raises the a strain in the cyclohexane of boat conformation hence option D is correct bowsprit flagpole interaction makes the compound most or very less stable come to question number 20 the following molecule a molecule has been given in this molecule it has C2 axis of symmetry it has one sigma plane. This is a horizontal plane, not a vertical plane. This is a horizontal plane and it has inversion. Inversion I is present. If there is a plane and an inversion, if there is a plane and inversion, then the compound should contain improper axis of symmetry. It has improper axis of symmetry that is S2. Hence, there are C2 axis, sigma plane, inversion and S2 axis. 
here you see option a it is given as s4 so it is a ruled up option b it has only one sigma plane that is a horizontal plane but in option b there are given two sigma plane option b and d was ruled out because there was no two sigma plane it has one contain only one sigma plane hence option c is correct it has one sigma plane one c2 axis inversion and improper axis of symmetry option c is correct thank you for watching this video we'll meet in part 3 thank you